Yeah, as uh, Irv mentioned, I am uh, an attorney and a former NFL player, so I approach this from a slightly different perspective. I actually have a story uh, similar to, to Mr. Barney, but uh, not quite as interesting. Um, I, uh, when I was done playing in the NFL, um, I, I played in the NFL uh, only two seasons over the course of uh, three years. And when I was done playing in the NFL, I went to a chiropractor, and the chiropractor examined my neck, and she said, have you been involved in a car accident recently? <laughs> And uh, I, I said, uh, no, why do you ask that? She said, because you have broken bones in your neck. Now, this is after I was done playing football, and had I decided that I wanted to go and try to apply for disability, I wouldn't have been able to get it. And this is the, the case with many of these guys over here. Uh, because I'm sure you guys are saying, man, these guys have compelling stories, but why does it really benefit, or why does it bother me? Why does it hurt me? And it hurts you or it affects you because when the NFL denies disability, and almost in every case they will deny disability, you are the guys who pay for it because they then have to go into Medicare or Medicaid or they end up in the emergency room because they can't afford insurance based off of pre-existing disabilities. Uh, for example, if you haven't been vested, so I played two years. I played 15 years prior to getting the NFL. Okay, so that was 15 years worth of hits. I played in the NFL for two years. And I think at that point we all say, okay, now the NFL owns you. And anything that happens as a result, the NFL is going to take care of its brothers. It's going to take care of its people. Well, I'm in a similar situation as George Vistra is in that the reason George isn't receiving disability now through the NFL is because he didn't play enough to be vested. He was excluded based on what we would consider a technicality, rules that were created by the NFL and the NFLPA. Now, you may not care what happens to George and I, but because George and I don't qualify for NFL disability insurance, and because we only played two years and not the three years in the league, you will care. Because guess who's going to pay for it, as I mentioned earlier? If George and I can't qualify for regular insurance because of pre-existing injuries from football, you will pay. If George and I can't afford it because we don't have the money due to inadequate pensions, you will pay. And inevitably, when George and I hit Medicare age, you will pay for all of our surgeries that we have to have as a result of playing football. So if you don't want to pay, right now is the time. Right now is the time to put pressure on the NFL to get the multi-billion dollar NFL to pay and to take care of his brothers. Thanks.